Hello guys, welcome back to Chandra DIY. And today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a mermaid corset top. It is an easy pattern, and for this corset top, I made for size extra small and size small. But I also showing you how to make it bigger until size extra large. Okay, now let's get started. First thing first, we are going to make the bra cup. To begin, make a magic circle or magic ring. And next, we are going to make the bokeh shade. For row 1, chain 3. For chain 3, we also count as a stitch. After you got 3 chains, next, make the bokeh shade into the circle. To make the bokeh shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the circle, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. Keep making 3 more the bokeh shade into the circle. Then we meet you back again. And now you must have four the bokeh shade with chain three. In total, you must have five stitches. So for this number, it is for size XS and S. And for the other side, you can see in this video, for size medium makes 6 stitches, and for size large and extra large makes 7 stitches. And next, pull the short string to close the circle. For all size, please repeat this. For row 2, chain 2. For chain 2, we also count as a stitch. Then turn your work. And we are going to make the bokeh shade into the same stitch with chain 2. This is count as your first increasing stitch. And after you have made a double crochet into the same stitch with chain 2, next, we are going to make increase into the next stitch by make 2 double crochet in the same loop. And after you got two the bokeh shade in the same loop, in the third stitch we are going to make increase but make three the bokeh shade in the same loop. After you got three the bokeh shade in the same loop, next we are going to make increase into the next stitch by make two the bokeh shade in the same loop. Keep repeating this into the last stitch, which is the chain three stitch. And after you have made increase into the chain 3 stitch, and this is what the second row looks like, you must have 11 stitches in total, include the chain 2 stitch. And for the other side, you can see in this video, for size medium, you must have 13 stitches, and for size large and extra large, you must have 15 stitches. Next, for row 3, chain 2, turn your work. Skip one stitch that near chain 2 and then we are going to make the shell stitch by make 2 double crochet in the same loop. After you got 2 double crochet, then chain 1 and make 2 more double crochet into the same loop. And 
and this is how we made the shell stitch. You must have for the bokeh shade with chain 1. And next, we are going to make the front post the bokeh shade into the next stitch. To make front post the bokeh shade, yarn over, insert the hook from the front to the back between the post. Yarn over and pull through the post. And now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. And this is how we make front post the bokeh shade. And next, we are going to repeat the same thing by make the shell stitch into the next the bokeh shade stitch. Make 2 the bokeh shade in the same loop. And then chain 1 and make 2 more double crochet in the same loop. And after you have made a shell stitch, then make a front post double crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating this until you have one last stitch, then I will meet you back again. And after you have made the shell stitch, and now you must have one last stitch, then we are going to make the bokeh shade into this last stitch, which is the chain 2 stitch. And this is what the third row looks like. You can see the shell pattern. You must have 5 shell stitches, because at the first row we make 5 double crochet stitches. And for the other side, if you make 6 stitches or 7 stitches, you must have 6 or 7 shells. Next, for row 4, chain 2. Turn your work. Skip this double crochet stitches, and we are going to make the shell stitch into this chain 1 space, which is the middle part of the shell stitch. Make 2 double crochet into the chain 1 space. And then chain 1 and make 2 more double crochet into the same loop. And after you got 4 double crochet with chain 1, and next, we are going to skip these double crochet stitches 
and make the back post the bokeh shade into this front post stitch. To make back post the bokeh shade, yarn over, insert the hook from back to front between the post. Yarn over and pull through the post, and now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops, and yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. And this is how we make back post the bokeh shade. Next, we are going to repeat the same thing by making the shell stitch into the chain 1 space. And make the back post the bokeh shade into the front post the bokeh shade stitch. Keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you have made the last shell stitch, and next we are going to make a bokeh shade into this last stitch, which is the chain 2 stitch. Remember, you must have one stitch at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row. And this is what the row 4 looks like. Next, for row 5, chain 2. Turn your work and make the shell stitch into the chain 1 space. After you have made the shell stitch, then make front post the bokeh shade into the post stitch. Keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you have made the last shell stitch, then we are going to make the bokeh shade into this last stitch, which is the chain 2 stitch. And this is what the fifth row looks like. And next, for row 6, please repeat row 4, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 6. Next, for row 7, chain 2 as always. Turn your work. Then skip one stitch that near chain 2 and make the bokeh shade into the next 2 stitches.
after you have made two double crochet, then make a double crochet into the chain 1 space. And after you have made a double crochet, and now you must have 3 double crochet in total. Then chain 1, and make a double crochet into the chain 1 space again. And next, we are going to continue make double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And now your short stitch should have 3 double crochet plus chain 1 plus another 3 double crochet stitches. And next, we are going to make the front post double crochet into the front post stitch. And then we are going to repeat the same thing by make 2 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And then make 1 double crochet into the chain 1 space. And then chain 1 and make a double crochet into the chain 1 space again. Then continue make double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And now you must have 6 double crochet with chain 1. And next, make a front post double crochet stitch. Keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you have made the last short stitch, and next, we are going to make a double crochet into this last stitch, which is the chain 2 stitch. And this is what the 7th row looks like. Next, to start row 8, from size extra small until size large, please repeat this. Chain 2, turn your work, skip 2 stitches, which is the stitch that you chain 1, and the next double crochet stitch, and then make the double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And after you got 2 double crochet, then make a double crochet into the chain 1 space. And now you must have 3 double crochet in total, and for size extra large, you skip only 1 stitch and make the double crochet into the next 3 stitches, and then make 1 double crochet into the chain 1 space. In total, you must have 4 double crochet stitches. And next, chain 1, and make a double crochet into the chain 1 space again. Then continue make the double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And now you must have 3 stitches of the double crochet. In total, your short stitch must have 6 double crochet with chain 1. And next, we are going to skip this double crochet stitch. For size extra large, you don't have to skip this stitch. Just make the double crochet into it, and you must have a double crochet with chain 1. Then continue make the back post into the post stitch. And after you have made a back post double crochet, then skip 1 stitch and repeat the same thing by make the double crochet into the next 2 stitches. Then make a double crochet into the chain 1 space. Chain 1 and make a double crochet into the chain 1 space again. Then continue make a double crochet into the next 2 stitches. Then 
Then skip this double crochet stitch and make the back post double crochet. Keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. After you have made the last shell stitch, next we are going to make the bulk shade into the last stitch which is the chain 2 stitch. Next, start from row 9 for all sides, please repeat this, chain 2, turn your work, skip 2 stitches and make the bulk shade into the next 2 stitches. Then make a double crochet into the chain 1 space. Then chain 1 and make a double crochet into the chain 1 space again. Then continue make the double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And after you got 6 double crochet with chain 1, then we are going to skip this double crochet stitch and make the front post double crochet into this post stitch. Keep making the shell stitch and the front post stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then make a double crochet into the last stitch. For the next next row, for all sides, you just keep repeating row 8 and row 9 until you reach row 11 or until you got the length of your bra cap that can cover perfect on your breast. And after you reach row 11, then we are going to switch the color and add 2 more rows. As you can see the height of my bra cup, it can cover on my bra pad. If you guys want your bra cup more longer, you just add more rows by repeat row 8 and row 9. So I'm gonna show you how to switch the color. At the end of row 11, you just make a double crochet into the chain 2 stitch, but don't finish it yet. After you got 2 loops on your hook, just drop the pink yarn and grab the white yarn. Yarn over and pull through 2 loops, don't forget to leave a short tail of yarn. You can cut off the pink yarn, then we are going to repeat the same thing like row 8 and row 9, and I will meet you back again. After you got 2 rows of the white yarn, then chain 1 and cut it off. In total, you must have 13 rows. Next, please repeat the same thing to the other bra cup. Then we are going to make the triangle shape beside the bra cup. This is for the front side of your top. To begin, I'm start working with the left side of the bra cap. Also, we are working on the right side of the stitch or the right side of the cap as you can see. Then attach the yarn into the third row which is the pink row. We are going to skip the white row. Next, for row 1, chain 4. After you got 4 chains, then we are going to skip 3 chains and make the bulk shade into the 4th chain.
And after you have made a double crochet, next we are going to make slip stitch into the double crochet row. As you can see this line, which is where we made the double crochet stitches. So we are going to make slip stitch into this line. As you can see, we stay at the same row with the double crochet stitch. Next, for row 2, we are going to make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. It means that we are going to make 2 slip stitch into the double crochet row. As you can see, this double crochet row or the double crochet stitch, we are going to make slip stitch into the double crochet stitch or into the chain 2 stitch. And then make one more slip stitch into this line. After you have made 2 slip stitch, it is like we make chain 2. Then turn your work and make the bulk of shade into the bulk of shade stitch. Then make one more double crochet into this chain 3 stitch that we skipped at the previous row. In total, you must have two double crochet stitches. Next, for row 3, chain 3. For chain 3, we also count as a stitch. Then turn your work. Skip one stitch, then you chain 3 and make the double crochet into the double crochet stitch. And now you must have two stitches. Then we are going to make slip stitch into the double crochet row, which is the shell stitch row. As you can see, we stay on the same line or the same row with the shell stitch. Next, for row 4, please repeat row 2. After you reach the end of the row, next, for row 5, chain 3, turn your work. As you can see, after you got 4 rows of the bulker shade. And next, we are going to make the front post the bulker shade stitch. By skip the stitch that new chain 3 and make the front post the bulker shade into the next the bulker shade stitch. After you have made a front post the bulk of shade, then may increase by make the bulk of shade into this loop or this space which is where we made slip stitch at the previous row. In total you must have 3 stitches. Then we are going to continue make slip stitch into this the bulk of shade row. As you can see, we always stay at the same row with this shell stitch row. Next, for row 6, make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. Then turn your work, and we are going to make increase by make the bulk of shade into this slip stitch space which is where we made slip stitch at the previous row. And then made a bulk crochet into the next double crochet stitch. And 
and next we are going to make back post the bokeh shade into the post stitch. After you have made back post the bokeh shade, then make a double crochet shade into the chain 3 stitch. And now you must have 4 stitches in total. As you can see at the previous row, we have 3 stitches. And for the next next row, you must have 1 stitch increase. Like this row 6, we have 4 stitches. And for row 7, you must have 5 stitches and so on. Next, for row 7, chain 3. Turn your work. Then skip the chain 3 stitch and make front post the bokeh shade into the post stitch. And next, make the bokeh shade into 8 stitch until the end of the row. And after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make increase by make the bokeh shade into the slip stitch space. And after you got 5 stitches, then we are going to continue make slip stitch into the bokeh shade row. And next, for row 8, slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. Then turn your work and make increase by make the bokeh shade into the slip stitch space, which is where we made slip stitch at the previous row. And then continue make the bokeh shade into 8 stitch until you reach the post stitch. Then we are going to make back post the bokeh shade. And then make a double crochet into the chain 3 stitch. After you reach the end of the row, and now you must have 6 stitches in total. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 8. You must have the straight row at the post stitch. For you guys that made the bra cup more higher, you can keep increasing by repeat row 7 and row 8 until you got the straight row at the bottom of the bra cup as you can see in this video. So I still have 2 more rows left at the bottom of the bra cup because I already got the straight row. So I'm gonna stop from here by chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And next, we are going to repeat the same thing to the right side of the bra cup. It's just a little bit different. So for the right side of the bra cup, you just turn the bra cup to the wrong side of the stitch, which is we call the wrong side of the bra cup, as you can see in this video. And then attach the yarn into the third row, which is the pink row, and start repeat the same thing like the left bra cup until you got 8 rows, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And now we are done for the bow bra cup, and this is what it looks like. And next, we are going to make the back part of the top. To begin, we are start working from the right side of the bra cup, then attach the yarn into the corner stitch of the white row. And next, Continue make 75 chains. It is equal 15.5 inches length. 
For you guys that make different size, please add more chains until you reach your back part measurement. And this is what it looks like after you got 75 chains. And this is how you measuring it on your own body. You just place this bra cup on your breast and make the foundation chains long enough, measuring it underneath of your underarm, around your back until you reach the other side underarm. And this is what it looks like after we place both bra cup into the foundation chains. It should look like this. You can try this on your body again to see if it's too small or too big. I recommend you to make this back part not really fit with your body. Just make it a little bit smaller than your back part because this double crochet stitches will stretching when you wearing it. And next, make sure that your foundation chains doesn't twist. And then we are going to continue make slip stitch into the left bra cup. To begin, make slip stitch into the corner stitch. After you have made slip stitch, next for row 1, we are going to make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches, which is the shirt stitch row. And after you have made 2 slip stitch, next we are going to make the bulk shade into each chain until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the bokeh shirt row. And this is what the first row looks like. Next, for row 2, make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. Then turn your work. And make a bulk of shade into every stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the bulk shirt row. And this is what the second row looks like. For the next next row, please keep repeating row 2. It means that you are going to make no more rows of the bulk shirt stitch, no increase, until you reach row 6, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 6. And next, we are going to make increase at the bottom of the bra cap. To begin, continue from where your last stitch is for row 7. Make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. Then turn your work. And we are going to make increase by make the bulk crochet into the slip stitch space.
and then continue make the bow crochet into every stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to increase by make the bow crochet into slip stitch space. And next, continue my slip stitch into the bow crochet row to connect the row. For the next next row, please keep repeating row 7, it means that you are going to make increase for each side of the row until you reach row 10, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 10. For you guys that make different size or bigger size, you can keep increasing until you got a straight row at the bottom of the bra cap. And this is what it looks like at the front side of the top. And next, we are going to make the under bust part to begin turn your work. And we are going to working on the wrong side of the stitch. As you can see, this is the right side of the stitch and this is the wrong side of the stitch. Then we are going to attach the yarn into the first stitch, which is the corner stitch. And then for row 1, chain 3. Then we are going to make the front post double crochet stitch into the post stitch. Keep making the bow crochet into each stitch until you reach the other post stitch, then I will meet you back again.
and after you reach the second post stitch, then we are going to make the front post double crochet stitch. And next, make a double crochet into the chain 3 stitch. And after you reach the end of the row, and next, we are going to make the front post and back post double crochet stitch under the bra cap, which is the middle part of the bra cap. Please use stitch marker to mark at the middle part of your bra cap. Or if you guys make the same size like mine, you just count 12 stitches of the double crochet and use stitch marker to mark at the 13th stitch. And then don't forget to count the same number to the other side. Next, for row 2, chain 3. Turn your work and make back post the crochet stitch into the post stitch. Then continue make the crochet into every stitch until you reach the stitch marker. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the stitch marker, then remove the stitch marker and we are going to make back post the bulk shade into the next two stitches. So in this video, I make only one back post the bulk shade stitch, but I recommend you to make two stitches of back post the bulk shade to make the rib bone of the corset look more bigger. And after you have made two back post the bulk shade stitches, then continue make the bulk shade into every stitch until you reach the second stitch marker. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the second stitch marker, then remove the stitch marker and we are going to make two back post the bulk shade stitches. Then continue make the bulk shade into every stitch until you reach the post stitch. And after you reach the post stitch, then we are going to make back post the bulk shade. And next, make the bulk shade into the chain 3 stitch. After you reach the end of the row, for the next next row, you just keep repeating by make the normal row of the bulk shade with the front post and back post the bulk shade stitches. No increase until you reach row 11, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 11. If you guys want your top more longer, please add more rows. And then you don't have to cut off the yarn, just continue from where your last stitch is. And we are going to make the corset holes. To begin chain 1, and make single crochet into the stitch near chain 1. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 2 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 2 loops. And after you have made a single crochet, then chain 1. Then skip one stitch and make single crochet into the next three stitches. After you got 3 stitches of single crochet, then we are going to repeat the same thing by chain 1, skip 1 stitch, and make single crochet into the next 3 stitches. Ok, 
keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, and this is what it looks like. Next, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And for the other side, just turn your work and we are working from the top part to begin attach the yarn into the corner stitch. And then we are going to repeat the same thing like the other side. And now for both corset holes are done. And next, we are going to make the strap for the top. You guys can try this top on your body and use stitch marker to mark where you want to make the strap. Or you guys can count three shells and use stitch marker to mark at the middle part of the fourth shell. And for the back part, you just count 19 stitches of the bokeh shade and use stitch marker to mark at the 20 stitch. For the measurement between the stitch marker, it is equal 5.5 inches length. It's the measurement of my underarm. And next, don't forget to count the same number to the other side. To make the strap, attach the yarn into the stitch near stitch marker. And 
And next, follow one chain two. For chain two, we also count as a stitch. And then we are going to make the ball crochet two together into the same stitch with chain two. To make the ball crochet two together, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have three loops on your hook. Then yarn over, pull through two loops. And then yarn over and continue insert the hook into the same loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And now you have three loops on your hook. Then yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then chain one. And we are going to make the ball crochet three together into the next stitch. It is like we made the ball crochet two together. And now you must have three double crochet with four loops on the hook. Then yarn over, pull through all four loops. And this is how we make the double crochet three together. Next, for row two, turn your work and make slip stitch into the chain one space. And after you have made a slip stitch, then chain two. And then we are going to make the double crochet two together into the chain one space. And next, chain 1, and then continue make the ball crochet 3 together into the chain 1 space. For the next next row, you just keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 22. It is equal 13.5 inches length. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what the strap looks like after you reach row 22. If you guys want your strap more longer, just add more rows by repeat row 2. And next, we are going to attach the strap into the back part of the top. To begin, turn the strap inside out. Then remove the stitch marker and we are going to continue make slip stitch into the stitch that you mark. And next, we are going to make single crochet both sides together into the next 3 stitches. And after you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And this is what the right side looks like. And next, for the remaining yarn, please use the needle to weave in. And now we are done for the first side. For the other side, please repeat the same thing like the first side. And 
now we are done for the strap and this is what the corset top looks like. Next, for the lace of the front tie, you just make the foundation chains long enough and then weave in the foundation chains into the corset hole. And now your mermaid corset top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook page. Then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.